So in this, this short video, I'm just going to share some insights into kind of how to structure your lessons on Teams. It shouldn't really be done as a traditional 60 minute lesson. Kids will find that really difficult to engage with. So just some bits and bobs I've found from my research that might help you in terms of um, how you structure it. So I've been working on a model uh, that's based on ALT, which stands for Academic Learning Time. And the idea behind this is that lots of studies by John Hattie have shown, and it's in my blog here, it tells you a little bit about it. Um, 27 minutes is the academic learning time. It's the optimum time that students should be switched on before they have a break. So this model here, essentially, it takes new content for the first 27 minutes, and you can do that via direct instruction, you talking to them or setting them some questions to ponder and think about. This is where they learn new stuff, and this is sort of your responsibility as a teacher to deliver via team. So if you're doing, um, let's say, components of fitness, this might be where you introduce the five skill related components of fitness, give them definitions, give them context in terms of the sports, and then make sure the kids are writing those notes down. Um, or it's hard to make sure when they're working remotely, but ask them to. So then there's a break. And this could actually represent two separate lessons if you like. But if you're trying to run it as a traditional 50, 60 minute lesson, you could teach new content here. Give them a break, ask them some questions. Maybe they need to go and grab a drink, whatever. Then, then set like a clear five minute time that they come back after. And this second part of the lesson is all about embedding the knowledge you've already taught. So this is about looking at exam questions, putting it into context, asking them loads of Q and A's via the microphones, uh, maybe in the chat room in Teams, which is, I'll just show you where it is. So when you're set up in your lesson, you'll have a chat function and you'll be able to ask them questions via the chat function. I'm not actually in Teams here, but it's it's a chat function that you can ask them direct questions in, which is quite a useful tool. So there is some pretty decent research behind this. This study in particular in New Zealand looked um, at a bunch of I think 2,000 students and it found that the least able kids can only really focus for nine minutes um, and the most able 45 and it median averaged it at 27. Um, which is really interesting, isn't it? Because that's kind of saying that's the optimum time and we shouldn't teach lessons for any longer. So just a bit of an insight when you're thinking about how to structure your lessons, maybe the first half new content, little break, second half, um, you test it via exam questions and whatnot.